If you guys saw my last video all about how to kind of record videos like Markiplier and PewDiePie where you have your full res image of your your camera and then also your gameplay and all that stuff, uh, you know, and how to edit that all together to make it look as pro as they do it. I have a follow-up video based on the comments you guys left on my last video. And that was mainly how to stream it. Now there is a way to do this and it you can stream it, but there's a little bit of a catch. And the catch is that no matter what your stream is seeing, that's what you're recording. So in post-production, when you are making your videos for YouTube or something like that, if you choose to, uh, it, your, your image is gonna be baked on top of your gameplay you can't separate what's your live stream viewers are seeing now there is one way to kind of get around it it's kind of complicated because you would have to open up a whole nother instance of obs and just record on there now you can do that and use my tips from the last video which i'll link up here uh, in in ways to do that you would just have to have its own setup elsewhere you would have to record as well as uh you know stream on two different obs's so if you can do that Cool. But moving past that, some of you guys want to know how to do this kind of situation or setup while live streaming and have it look as pro as those Markiplier videos or something like that are. So let me just show you exactly how to do this really fast. Now, all you're going to need is OBS and uh, a move plugin. Now I'll link that down below, but I'll show you here in a second too. So I open up OBS here and I already set up some scenes to make this kind of easy for the, the both of us. So I already set up a main scene. Now that'll be what's going out to your, uh, your live stream viewers. And uh, then you also have uh, some other scenes down here, which I put into uh, my main scene, which I'll get to in a second. But you can see over here, I have my cam scene where it's my entire camera, as well as my gameplay scene, which is, I mean, this, this is Starfield. I'm looking forward to playing it. I really hope it's good. So if you haven't already done so, go ahead and download the Move plugin. It's really simple. You just go to the website, and over here, there's a little download button. You click download, and you download maybe this Windows installer right here. Now, once you do that, you uh, you unzip it, and you just install it. It'll automatically go exactly where you need it to be, and that's it. Make sure your OBS is closed when you do it, and if not, then just close it and then reopen it after you install it. You're probably going to need to close OBS. Let's just move on. So now that I have move installed, I'm gonna go ahead and add my uh, my scenes inside of here, which are technically my sources. So I have my cam scene and my gameplay. So let's go ahead and add our scenes or our gameplay as well as our camera here. I'm gonna go ahead and add this uh, scene here called gameplay scene. Now we have our gameplay. I'm gonna go ahead and now add my other scene, which is my cam scene, just like that, easy peasy. When you're coming up with the idea of how to get this all situated, you gotta kind of predetermine where maybe you want your camera to be at any given time during your live streams. So for this example, I'm just gonna go ahead and shrink this down and just assume that I'm gonna want my camera about here during my gameplay. But maybe I don't wanna go 16 by nine, so I'm gonna go ahead and crop this in like this and maybe I'll crop it in like that, almost like we're in a little bit of a TikTok here. And maybe, maybe this is the way that I like to stream uh, like that. So I'm gonna go ahead and lock up my uh, my gameplay so I can't move it around and then uh, I'll leave my camera here because we're about to move it. So now thinking ahead and knowing where I want my camera placement, I already know that I want a full screen image of my face. So let's go ahead and add that now. So I'm gonna go over here and come over to my main scene. I'm gonna right click on it and go to filters. This is where we're gonna add that move filter. So right here, I'm gonna go ahead and right click, add and come down here to move source. It's pretty simple. Trust me. I know it's going to look complicated, but don't don't get scared. We're going to call this um, we'll call this one top left. I already put the it's the cameras in the top left. Now, on top of that, I'm also going to add another move source and we're going to call this one full cam. You're going to want to do this for every single camera setup that you want. And just that's why I'm telling you to think ahead and figure out where maybe you want your camera. So if you're playing a scary game, Maybe you want it in a different spot and maybe you want to go full screen or a slow zoom in or something like that. But let's try out some here. So I already have the top left here and then I have the full cam. Now I want to add, maybe we're going to do a slow zoom. So I'm going to add another move source and we're going to call this slow zoom to face. And I'm going to hit OK. I'm going to come up here to the top left move source and we're going to go ahead and come to the source list and click cam scene. If I clicked on gameplay scene, it's only going to look at the gameplay and I want it to look at my cam. So I'm going to leave it on cam scene uh, and I'll do that for these ones too ahead of time, just so I don't think about it later. So on the top left one here, the camera's already in the position that I want. So I'm going to scroll down and hit get transform. It already shows where my camera is at any given point. So I'm going to leave it as is. Let's go to the next one and go to full cam uh, and just exactly that. Let's make it full cam. So I'm going to come back over here to my, uh, my camera and maybe we'll uh, shrink this down a little bit and slide it down here. And I'm going to go ahead and uncrop it by holding alt and uh, dragging these little lines here 
and we'll just go full screen just like that. And uh, now with this back up in here, full cam, I'm gonna hit get transform again. You can see it all kind of zeroed out, pretty nice. So now I wanna do the slow zoom to the face. So we're gonna go ahead and click on that, make sure we're on cam scene. And uh, let's go ahead and position this where we think we might want it. So maybe I wanna really get in there on my face. So let's go ahead and just drag this really far up, something like there and maybe that looks pretty good so i'm going to bring back over here my uh, my little my little properties and hit get transform now it knows where my cam is and uh, now i have that kind of locked in now every other setting that's inside of this thing does a lot of different things here in terms of the way that something moves now what you need to focus on is just the duration and then maybe checking out the different types of uh, easing functions and you'll see that here as we go from one to the other in terms of uh, what we just made here uh, but just play around and just kind of explore and you'll kind of get an idea of what you can and can't do. So now that I have my slow zoom selected, I want it to be just that and I want it to be a slow zoom. So, so if I come over here and I add a zero and I change it to 3000 milliseconds, that's going to be three seconds long of the move that I'm about to apply. Now, if I put another one here, that would take 30 seconds to go and do the full on move. I'm going to change this over here to five seconds. I want it to be a nice slow zoom, but not too slow. So now if you want, you can go ahead and test this on the fly. Now, if I come up here to the top left and I scroll all the way down, I can hit this start and it's gonna go right back where I originally sent it, which is pretty cool. And if I click on full cam, scroll down again, hit start, it's gonna go full cam. Uh, and then obviously the, the full zoom, I could also do this and I'll do that slow zoom over the course of five seconds and now it's completed. So pretty cool, but how do I activate this on the fly while I'm gaming and doing this all the kind of the, you know, this stuff? Well, it's, you're going to have to do this with hotkeys. So what you're going to want to do is go over here to your settings and uh, you're going to want to go open up your hotkeys and you go to your hotkeys and I'm going to go find my main scene here. And there it is. And you can see we have a new selection of different hotkeys right here. So how about for top left, I'm going to use my numpad one. If you had a stream deck or something else, you could use any of this kind of stuff. But just for this video, I'm going to go ahead and just use my number pad here. So for full cam, we'll go with two and for slow zoom to face, we'll go three and I'll hit apply and hit okay. Now, when I hit numpad one, it's gonna zoom it up there. And if I hit numpad two and then three, it'll do all the different uh, the different variations. And again, I can always go right back to two and then I can also go right back to one. So if I'm sitting over here inside of uh, the nice zoomed in face where I'm talking and then I wanna go right back into uh, you know the first position here, I can, you can go in any order you want. So if I go ahead and lock this, I'll get rid of those those bars, you can kind of see what exactly is going on. Now I could always change this and maybe I don't want it to have a slow zoom like that when I go to this uh, this full cam. So maybe I go back over here to the, the filters, go to full cam, and maybe I just set this to straight zero. So that way, when I'm back here and I go to one, now if I hit two, it should be instant as opposed to looking like an actual move. Now, this could look like a whole new scene, but it's not. It's actually the same scene and I'm just moving my camera where I want it to be. Now it's the full resolution of the image and I'm not blowing or stretching up the image. The image is already as big as it's gonna be, so you're not losing any quality by stretching it and making it larger like this. So now I can be streaming and playing my game and hit two or whatever I need or, and then do like a slow zoom and maybe I'm having a moment where I'm talking to my audience and this is kind of what I want and then I can just go right back in here to gameplay and just continue playing around or whatever I wanna do. It's pretty cool and it's pretty simple. Now if you wanted to put this out to YouTube, I think you would have to record on your machine separately. Now, if you didn't want your camera here, you'd have to use my last tutorial video on how to record an ultra wide image and then you kind of get to play around afterwards. But if you're going straight from your streams right into uh, a YouTube video, just know that your camera is going to be baked on top of your gameplay, no matter what you do. You can't separate what happens here from your VOD and from what you're recording in OBS to YouTube. It's just not possible. This should get you uh, right up in there with how to stream like these Markiplier videos where the camera's kind of zipping all over the place, but you're in control of when and where it happens. So you're editing on the fly using hotkeys or a stream deck. When I first started making content, I didn't have a stream deck. I just had my keyboard. So what I ended up doing is I bought this little external USB numpad and I made this my, my stream deck, whatever I wanted it to be. So. I could always have this near my mouse or wherever my fingers constantly are. So while I'm sitting there and, and you know, gaming and whatnot, I could just quickly press scenes if I needed to on the fly to go ahead and change and do things that I want 
whenever I needed. So it's pretty nice to get yourself a little external numpad or, you know, an app that can connect to your OBS or anything you want to, you know, really quickly change scenes or, or do whatever you want or move those camera positions whenever you want. Now you could also link this to your mouse buttons if you wanted to, but that might be a little crazy. So, you know, you're gaming and you, you press mouse five and then just zooms into your face. But as long as you're aware of what's happening, it could be pretty clever and cool. That's, that's sort of it. I mean, that's, that's how you would get that done. It's really simple. So go check it out. It's, it's a free plugin move, uh, from Excel Dro. He makes a lot of different plugins. So shout out to him yet again. And, uh, yeah, go check it out. It's great. OBS move and then go start playing with your cam. It's, it's really simple. If you have any questions or comments or anything like that, put them down below and I'll try to respond. I usually respond to most everybody that has a question. Is there just anything else that you guys have ideas for that maybe you want me to troubleshoot? Let me know. I'm happy to make videos and try to troubleshoot things and figure out solutions for you guys as content creators or streamers or whatever. So hit me up anytime. I'm ready to make more videos if you guys want. Uh, but until next time, take care.